Hello and welcome to the third in the series of Swing Tutorials from Cave on Programming. In the last tutorial we looked at how to create a kind of fairly minimal application in Java Swing. And in this tutorial I was going to show you how to use Grid Bag Layout but I've realised that it's going to be necessary to break that down into two tutorials. So in this tutorial we're going to add a new panel to this application which eventually is going to be a, a form with some controls on it. But um, for this tutorial we're just going to create the panel itself and then we're going to add the controls using grid bag layout in the next tutorial. So the first thing to do is create the panel. So I'm going to go to new class and I'm going to call this details panel. This is going to be a form where you can fill in um, kind of personal details and I'm going to make that derive from jpanel. jpanel is the, the swing control component that implements a kind of blank panel that you can add stuff to. And now, so I've got my details panel here and I'm in my main frame I'm just going to add that panel to the application. So I'll have a private instance variable here called details panel and later on I will um, say details panel equals new details panel and then I'll add that to the left hand side of the application here by saying border layout dot west what west okay and uh, so if we look at that now um, uh, okay yeah details panel if we look at this after I've got rid of the errors um, what else do we have okay that's good. Then uh, we have actually added a panel but it's extremely narrow and of no use at all. So um, here in the details panel constructor, well first I'll add a constructor, details panel, like this. And I'm gonna get the preferred size of this panel. So um, there's a class called dimension, dimensions, that um, that kind of specifies a size and I'm going to say dimension size equals get preferred size and um, control shift O to add the import and um, oh yeah sorry it's dimension not dimensions and then I'm going to just set the size I'm going to set the width of the size to 250 pixels and then so I've done get preferred size change the width and I'm going to do set preferred size to set this kind of size back on the panel and uh, if I run this now you can see that my panel takes up 250 pixels which looks ridiculous if you've got a small application but the idea is you're going to be able to resize it like that. Okay and the next thing I'm going to do is set a border on the panel because I want it to have a kind of title border around it. So I'll say set border and I will use I'll say border factory and border factory creates is a class that a factory class that creates different kinds of borders and I want create title border here and I want to specify a title so I'll say I don't know personal details maybe and um, so I'm just doing set border and the border I'm setting is a border got from border factory dot create title border I'll specify the title here and what that looks like is um, this so it's quite a presentable little border. Um, now I'm going to create some controls. So let's have, I'm going to use a couple of J labels. And J labels um, just um, let you put some text on your panel. So I'm going to have one label um, equals new J label. I'm going to have one label called name. And this is going to be a label by the side of the control where you enter your name, J label, um, and I'm going to have a uh, let's say a occupation label equals new J label occupation, and um, control shift O to add the import, and I'm going to have a couple of text fields, and uh, these these text fields J text field are um, they're just kind of like a little one-line thing of text like this control up here in Eclipse, that one. 
So I'll say um, name field, and this is where the person can actually enter their name, equals new j text field. And you specify the number of columns here, and the number of columns seems to be very approximate, and usually the text field is way bigger than you'd expect it. So I, I assume that this, columns, this number of columns applies to some kind of standard font, but um, I, I maybe have my font set to much smaller than the designers of Swing expected, because I always find that this is too big. But 10, 10 columns is a reasonable number for many purposes. And I'll have occupation field equals new J text field. And I'll say 10 again, at least for the moment. And uh, so I've got two labels and I've got the controls that are going to go by the sides of those labels. And I also want to have a J button at the bottom. And the button is going to be a button that lets me add these kind of details to some kind of database. So I'll say j equals new j button. And I'll say, I'll put the label on the button. Um, I'll make it add. OK, control shift O to add the imports. And um, the next stage now is to kind of set the layout. So at the moment, um, I'm not actually adding these controls anywhere. And I'm going to use, um, I'm going to set layout, I'm going to use a new grid bag layout like that. And grid bag layout lets you add controls in conjunction with um, a grid bag constraints. So you need a grid bag constraints. Um, and the, con the grid bag constraints is the class where you specify exactly where you want each control to go. New grid bag constraints. And um, I'm going to leave that there for the moment and we will add these controls using this layout and these constraints in the next tutorial. But for the rest of this tutorial, I've just got a couple of minutes, I, I want to quickly mention that if you install the free Window Builder Pro, which you can find um, which Google have released um, last year um, as a free Eclipse plugin. You can actually design panels. Um, you can also design frames and things like that. But you can go to new, um, if you go to new and other, once you've got the plugin installed via the, I think it's via the help menu. And then you can say on the Swing Designer, new J panel um, and give that a name, test. Panel. I won't actually use this here, but I just want to quickly show you this in case you want a visual alternative. And then here you can switch between source and design, and you can sort of drag and drop things onto your um, panel by clicking, clicking there. Oh, you need to set the layout as well by right clicking and going to set layout. Um, but I'm not going to go into that here. Um, we're going to do everything manually, but I just wanted to show you this because um, people always ask, is there a way of doing this visually? And the answer is yes, but the visual way um, isn't um, quite as good as you might imagine um, because it, um, you still have to worry about layouts and things like that, so it's not perfect. And you still kind of probably need to know all this kind of stuff. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial, and in the next tutorial, I will start adding, I'll add the controls to this um, panel. So join me then, and you can find this code on caveofprogramming.com. So until next time, happy coding.